Top right circle. Fed it across left circle. Chow skates down to the end wall and in behind the net. Chow to the right wing corner now. Chow lost the handle, but it rolls to Sasana at the blue line. Fed mid blue line. Chow now. Slap pass left side for a skating in for Cusick. He shoots. He scores! Sasana makes it possible with the keep in along the right boards. Gets it set up as it eventually comes to Nick Perkusic. Speeding a car right point. Put it right half boards where Foo centers to Makar. Drags his way to the left side of the net. Got the goaltender down and out. Backhander. The goal light went on, but there was no goal. And it across left circle to Makar. Skates in closer. Put it in front. It's off a stick. Loose in the crease. Jammed that side of the net. And the referee waves it off again. And the net's bumped off Makar To Perkusic right side. Back to Makar. Skates in closer. And then drops it off left circle to McKechnie. Curling of the high slot. He shoots. He scores! Josh McKechnie, top shelf with a wrister from just outside the ring at line. Another power play goal for number 13 with a sensational shot to give Brooks a 2 to nothing lead. And now in his last 20 games... McKechnie's got himself five goals and 18 assists, 23 points. Left circle shot by Vlaho, scores! 17 seconds into the second period. The pass by the Bandits comes from the high slot to Nick Vlaho at the left faceoff circle, and he just fires a quick wrister in past Zach Glass, and it continues his hot streak on the score sheet, and the Bandits make it a 3 to nothing to his own blue for a speeding ahead Jake Tice. Aries in down the middle, zigzags with a teammate, cuts to the left point, and then slips and falls. Keeps the play alive as he's pressured by Wilson. Got back up, got it to Plessy, two on one down low. Plessy to McCarr in the slot, shoots and scores! You can tell Tice falling was definitely intentional there, yeah, because he got right back up and got that pucked in eighth and Plessy, two on one down low. And it's off his stick and came behind the net. Mappin tried to backhand one in front. Revelato picked it off, lost it to Mappin though. Gotten down right corner to Pankowitz, who dropped it behind the net for Mappin. Mappin centered one, shot scores! Oliver Chow makes it 5 nothing. Brooks just over five minutes in. Ty Mappin untouched in behind the net, able to set. He dislikes Tyler Carangelo. Fed in behind the knee. The Crusaders have a breakaway. Dykstra's in on goal. He drags to his forehand, shoots, and it's stopped at the side of the net. Back there, though. That wall left corner. Put it left point. Solo winds. Fires. Save. Rebound. Shot. Scores. Arjun Atwal was wide open at the top of the crease. The centering feed from the left half wall. Went off his stick. Then the Crusaders fire it the other way for a breakaway chance for Jesse Zaharachuk. He's in on goal. Charges in on Benson and pushes him into the net. And it rolls in. The goal light goes on. And the referee waves it off. Never even started to signal goal. The free came back to that Sean. The right wing corner, though. Got it to map in right half wall. Fed it right point. Makar skates mid blue line. Then zigzags around a defender to the right circle. Then shoots. Backdoor camp. Score! Three-point afternoon for Cam McCarr and a nifty move from the right point to get space around a Crusader defender. Cuts into the right circle. Looks like he's going to take the shot himself. Instead, he fires it to the side of the net. And all Jacob Camps had to do was tap it in. Just tap it in. Face off one by the Bandits. Right point to McCarr with three points. Shoots through a screen. Scores! Well, that didn't take very long. Four seconds into the power play. Kale McCarr from the middle of the blue line fires a wrister through traffic. Didn't look like it took a t- uh, look. At- didn't look like it took a tip in front. Say that. Towards t- Reedman. Across to Regan. Left half boards. Holds it. Back across to Reedman. Bounced off the boards. Bandits take it. They got a two-on-one shorthand. And McCarr with Perkusic. McCarr carries in down the middle. To the right circle. Fed across. Perkusic shoots. Scores! I have no idea how that power play was supposed to work as they were passing it from half wall to half wall. It bounced off the boards on the third try, and Makar sped up ice with Nick Perkusic, fed a pass across perfectly. The captain one time was a great chance set up by the crew, but they couldn't find the stick of Wallace to finish it. Now in front of the net, a turnaround shot stopped by Benson on a wide middle to Parker Hubner. And then it's carry in. Right wing camps got around his man, cuts out in front. He's wide open in a point blank, saved by Moore. Crusaders the other way. Tap it in front of the Brooks bench, and the clear goes all the way down ice from Rotundo. Then gets attacked. Nick Vlaos drops his gloves and tries punching him. Vlaos is did not consent to the fight there, and Rotundo just attacking him here. The linesman jump in. 
Sandum, I guess, didn't like being hit by Vlahos and then decided to just drop his gloves and start punching him. I think he only caught him in the side of the helmet, though. Face off to Morris. He's left in the Sherwood Park zone. Bandits win it. Plessy cuts to the slot. Got to run a defender. He's wide open. He shoots it just wide He's left. He's a partial change. It's now a major power play. 420 to go in it, but a 5 on 4. And then Carangelo, a real undisciplined slash on Youngins. And then Youngins is going to try to attack Carangelo. And we'll get a big pile down in the left corner of the Sherwood Park zone. The initial call was to Carangelo, who's now trying to fight back, got his right glove off and just landed a couple of right hooks to the side of Youngin's head. Now the lines are going to let them go. And Carangelo wrestles Youngin's down to the ice immediately. Playing 7.53 to go in this third. Brooks is up 8-1. They've not scored nine goals this year. Left cash marks map and put it to the slot. Perkusic shoots. Scores! And that's a new season high for the Bandits. Ty Mappin from the left side of the net flicks one of the slot, and Nick Perkusic is there to wire home a power play goal with 2.19 to go in the major. Feed it right circle. Roberts got around his man. Point blank shots over the net and off the end glass, and that'll do it for the first time in nearly a decade. The Brooks Bandits win in Sherwood Park, and tonight they win big 9-1, the final score, their biggest win of the season.